What's my greatest achievement in AV2? Greatest achievement in AV2. I don't know. Probably the KOTD 5 finals versus Viper. I think 5 0 versus Viper in the finals is absolutely a dream, so I think that would be it. AV Villager, thanks for the 5 gifted subs. Really appreciate it. But in general, the thing I'm most proud about for me with the AOE 2 career is just how consistent I am with the uh, tournament results. I think that's something I value a lot. I think getting getting a win here and there is like great, but I just like that I'm able to compete and get to like semifinals consistently, uh, make it to finals every now and then. I think for me that's the you know the thing that I'm most proud about, and that's what I try to aim for every tournament. They just try to do well, you know. I think Viper's at his best right now. You have to talk to him about that. I do think he's playing the best AoE he's he's ever played, but I don't know if he's at his peak, if that makes sense. Because the game is always developing, Viper now would easily beat Viper three years ago. Like it's not it's, it's not even comparable. Same for every player, pretty much. Um, but I don't know if he's at his peak mentally, physically, uh, or if he feels like you know he could be doing better. I don't know. You have to talk to him about that. But I, I personally think he's playing really well. Those chests, that's fine. <laughs> it's just a minute. Thank you, Hassan. Yeah, the, the consistency is what I what I uh, I strive for for sure. Can't wait for when Doubt peaks. <laughs> it's also funny, like Doubt's also playing the best AWE of his life, even though he is obviously. Um, Comparably, not uh, the same dominance he had in the past, but he's still playing the best AOE of his life. Viper's did it in the grand finals? Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. He got to the grand finals for a reason. And that reason was MBL! <laughs> no, I'm kidding. That's very funny. I love that dude. Yeah, that's a, that's a great asset to the community. I also respect a lot what that has accomplished at AW2. He gets memed a lot these days, which is fun, but at the same time, I kind of don't like it. I wish people put a bit more respect on his name as well. Because uh, now all, all you hear is like, oh, how Doubt can't micro, can't keep up. But like, Doubt's been keeping up for 20 years. There's not a lot of people that have done that, so yeah, I don't know. Wish we had just a little bit more respect on his name, you know? But I also don't like that whole Lord thing though. I, I'm not I'm not with that either. for the stream for Harris takes. I don't think I'm being too uh, too out there to be honest. I think I'm being pretty pretty reasonable with them. Wait, where's my other boar? Is it back there? Am I blind? Oh my god! <laughs> bro, step back a little! Some personal space, bro, what the hell? Social distancing, get off the berries. Let me just check, does he still have 125 food? Like, I thought he ate some of that. Are we good, we good. Malians versus the Poles. Do I go minute arms here? Does it matter when you learn deer? Uh, man, I feel like I talked about deer so much. But yeah, deer helps, but it's not necessary for your builds. It just helps keep things smooth. And sometimes it helps you justify upping one pop earlier, if that makes sense. But it's not like necessary to pull off your build or to get to feudal age. 
And it always comes at a cost of scouting, so it's never free. Just keep that in mind as well. Forgot. If you milled a deer? No, terrible. Never do that. Never do that unless you have a very good reason. Don't go into the game thinking I'm gonna I'm gonna mill my deer. That's just bad. I think I'm not gonna go mana armor. I'm just gonna go through militia drush because I'm so late on them. Why mana armor? I like to punish the poles uh, full work. Or not punish, but prevent them from getting a smooth early game. So that's why I like some militia against them. Let's see what he's doing. There we go, found it. Terrible farm. Oops. He's pretty walled and defended.
of other scouts. Yeah, okay. I'll make the scouts. I love the sound of the gold miners. It's so relaxing. Congratulations to KOTD Haraka. Thank you so much, bro. Really appreciate that. He has tower on gold for sure. How am I not killing them? They're 1 HP, all of them. I just want to see what he's doing with those guys. That's a 
the TC is making here. Uh, my cross was blocked, uh, now I go. Reveal. Luckily, we made it happen, anyways. Uh, that's GG if I stop that. Yeah, that's GG. Let's continue pushing on this side, actually. No point going to the other side. There's so many buildings here. The hitbox of the buildings is really buggy right now. Have to watch out for that. Uh, I feel like he lost way too much. Actually, I don't even want another Mangano. Three is more than enough to push. <laughs> Happy Father's Day, 
Hera is MPL your son. Oh man, that's a good one. Yo gets one every time there. Yo gets one every single time. What could he possibly be cooking up behind us? Absolute massacre. <sighs> wow, GG. I, I I tore through his base, man. I tore through the whole thing. He started here, man. It's a wasteland. The Malians are crazy strong. They're getting nerfed on the next patch, though. Thank God. It's uh, pretty unlosable. Once you uh, once you get the cast lead with Malians and you're safe with the crossbow mast, it's just so easy to convert the win. convert the win. Surprisingly, the builds are somewhat similar, but I mean, it obviously doesn't matter. That's the base, but.